So here's what's super cool about this. They live on a body of water, and they have water. And the reason is beautiful landscaping. I love the pots. And now I can see why this is one of your favorite, Will. This is where I want to sit right here. There's my chair right here. And look back and see that. And hear that sound. Just incredible. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And it's all about showcasing how people all over the world, including Bondurant, Iowa, live the aquascape lifestyle. Let's check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem water. Okay, well, isn't it fun to revisit your projects? It is. It's... This is one of my favorite ones. We see wow. these customers a handful of times a year in all seasons package that we have. So we do their spring startup, their fall service, and their shutdown. So wow. we're back here. Look at this. What I love about my job is you get to discover the water features and the projects at the same time I do. Look at the landscaping. You said she was a gardener, huh? Yep. I could... Oh, look at this. So here's what's super cool about this. They live on a body of water, and they have water. And the reason is beautiful landscaping. The reason is very simple. That pond back there you can't really see the fish right up here the plants to so bring the water up close and personal to the house and be able to interact with it look at all of the statues so cool the fish the water lilies and i love how this waterfall takes advantage of the natural slope of the side of the yards all along their living area downstairs seating area I love the pots pretty much love everything about this project and now i can see why this is one of your favorite will yep wow this is so cool everything is so ornate okay so here we go look at this yard you tell me the level of interest of this yard i love doing this and where would you rather be hanging out in this backyard or in that backyard grass pond grass pond not even a debate this is where i want to sit right here There's my chair right here and look back and see that and hear that sound just incredible i love my job rebuild project. This is a multi-phase rebuild project over a couple years. The first project, we added an intake bay, wetland made the pond bigger and deeper, and then a couple years later they had vol damage in the stream, so we tore it all out and rebuilt the whole thing, adjusted kind of the way the split stream worked, where they had a really shallow section that always leaked as well, right up against their patio, so we made that deeper, so now it's just an extension of the stream. She's really into her garden, so this oh, yard I love is it. always incredible. We started here, this pond was about five feet shorter, so in right about that shelf. There used to be a skimmer right there, so we added this intake bay, and this is actually a wetland filter up top. So when we re-dug it, we made it deeper, because it was 12, 18 inches, kind of sort of dug like a bowl. So when we did all of that, the worst part about the original project was we actually got about nine inches of rain in two hours. So we got back to work the next day. There was crazy amounts of water underneath our system. All of our rock work had fallen in, bubbled up, that water bed effect in, so we actually kind of re-rocked this thing in twice. Wetland, and then the stream was different when we built this, but we kind of tore that out, and then we seamed on the streamliner to the new pond liner, and then a couple years later, they actually had bull damage to the liner up in here, so that was when we completely tore this out and rebuilt this whole thing. So this is all new as of about two years ago. They had this existing moss rock on site, so kind of just incorporated these pieces back into to it we brought a couple more that we had matching at the shop so this boulder wall is actually like liner everywhere and then we just kind of cut little holes above water level in there so she could get her plants in this section here was the part that was like basically a dry stream bed it went from patio all the way to this boulder wall and was only like an inch thick so whenever you know got some sort of leaf debris or anything in there it always overflowed and leaked in here so when we rebuilt this stream we actually dug this deeper so now 
now we have about a foot of water in there and kind of an extension for the fish and everything to actually be able to get up and in. about this was they really didn't want it to be super rock heavy so that's why we kind of have blown out areas in here where it's just all gravel that's also why they just have one huge sheet of liner that comes up and over and this homeowner is they're incredible people she's obviously really good at the garden she's always out there she's done a great job at naturalizing this and softening all the edges It was back in the olden days, my wife and I used to live fairly close here, so we would run these trails around the park and everything. But before we got to do the rebuild, I could always see stream and everything that was here, so it was kind of that aha moment of I finally got to get in the yard and play with their feature. And she's got all the lights, she loves her lights in here. This thing has the Aquascape dosing system. We have the new smart doser on here, we have an ion gen, we've got the smart lights, we've got a smart pump. Very hands on with this. Our homeowners are always out here doing fat. is I want to inspire people to think differently. Hey, grass is fine, and you know what? Some grass is okay in any yard. They have grass in their yard. It's such a different feel when you have a water feature. Nothing will change a space more than a decorative water feature. First of all, that sound. And water is life. It attracts wildlife. There's something to actually draw you outside. In today's day and age, when you need to be drawn outside more than ever, when we're so technologically connected and people are working from home, I think everybody should be living the Aquascape lifestyle. If you're interested in living the Aquascape lifestyle, I'm going to put a link right above to other people all over the world that are living the Aquascape lifestyle so you can be inspired too. I love my job.